Hello and welcome to the UCSB Chamber Choir's virtual concert, Resilience. My name is Nicole Lamartine and I'm the Sorensen Director of Choral Music here at UCSB. This is my first year in the position and what a year it has been. It's given us a chance to come up with our vision for UCSB choirs and I'd like to share that with you now. The vision is to empower innovative excellence through exploration, intention, and connection. This online, excuse me one moment. Aha, uh -huh, yes, the technology. <laughs> this online uh, virtual choir has allowed us to act on this vision in some really intentful ways. And the biggest thing that I would like to share with you is this little tiny computer called a jam box. We are coming to you live with a few second delay through this tiny computer that every single student in this room has. We are singing from our own bedrooms, living rooms, in places around the state and as far away as Las Vegas. This jam box allows us to access a software platform called Jamulus, where we can hear each other through the platform in real time. It's as close to being in person as we can possibly get in this digital age. Every student has a jam box, an ethernet connection, and these cool Cobra gaming headsets. This ensures that we're hearing each other with the same equipment, which allows us to have the same inputs and outputs. I want to share with you some of the student reactions after our first rehearsal using this jam box technology. These are their words. Epic. I almost cried. Relieved, grateful, tears, flabbergasted, excited, major, major, major joy. I am so happy that this technology got in the hands of the students because this is how we can provide real musical experiences in this digital age, even beyond the time of the pandemic. But we couldn't do this technology just with us. This technology came to us through a collaboration with Jim Mui from Santa Barbara City College, who really is paving the way in the United States for the use of jam boxes in terms of live performances. He was the first person to put his ensemble in the live digital virtual concert stage. He's here with us tonight in real time, I think probably from his garage, so he's taking our sound from Jamulus, paired with our Zoom boxes, using two other software platforms called OBS and Stream Deck, and making an engaging experience for you, our audience, at home. And let me remind you, you're hearing us in real time. You even heard my voice coming through my two computers on accident, so we know it works. <laughs> Tonight, you won't see me conducting a whole lot, even though that's, that's what I do, but the lag on Zoom prevents our communication in visual time. So you'll see me giving reminders. The audio that you'll hear tonight is live, coming from our individual places, but you might hear some cracks and bubbles. That's absolutely normal for our internet these days. This is the last concert for four of our members of UCSB Chamber Choir. They're graduating, and I would like to acknowledge them at this moment and tell you just a little bit about them. Our first graduate is Angelina Picasso. She's getting her BA in music composition and a minor in education. I've asked each person to share a favorite memory from our online experiences this year. She says, becoming friends with people in choir despite being virtual. I love the bond the altos have, and I loved having their support this year. Our second graduate is Sharif Schulze Allen. He is getting his Bachelor of Science in Physics. His favorite memory? Icebreakers during the fall quarter, specifically the rock, paper, scissor-esque game, which he ended up winning. Our third graduate is Andrew Roberg. He's been in chamber choir for five years while he has been working on his PhD in materials engineering. His favorite memory, he says, honestly, 
The thing I appreciated the most from virtual choir was probably knowing everyone's name and a little bit more about their personal stories. And finally, we have Megan Ashley, graduating with her Bachelor of Music in Vocal Performance with a minor in Italian. She says, her favorite memory was when we finally got the jam boxes and I could hear people sing. Graduates, we will miss you. Thank you so much for your contributions this year. This concert tonight wouldn't happen without the innovative thinking from my colleague, Dr. John Nathan, who is the director of the UCSB Jazz Ensemble. He and I are collaborating for the first time, but it's the first time that these two ensembles have ever collaborated at UCSB. We're so happy to have Dr. Nathan and members of the Jazz Ensemble with us tonight. Thank you for your time, your efforts, and your collaborative spirit. You'll see the program run straight through, and afterwards, we hope that you will stay on the YouTube and provide some comments and questions for us. We'll chat in real time through the chat feature of YouTube. So thank you for being here tonight, and welcome to the UCSB Chamber Choir's performance of Resilience. Resilience, 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 we are strong. Shoulder to shoulder, keep moving on. Resilience, make a new plan. Stand up again and say, yes, we can. Resilience, we are strong. Shoulder to shoulder, keep moving on. Resilience, make a new plan. Stand up again and say, yes, we can. Resilience, we are strong. Shoulder to shoulder, keep moving on. Resilience, make a new plan. Stand up again and say, yes, we can. silence of the moment. I like to relate life to a tree, connected by one root. Just like branches, we may look a little different and are all unique, but we are all needed. Unity is strong and it creates something greater than us.
nature is change. Nature is a tender balance of cyclically changing factors. So is life. It is temporary, always in flux. Change is part of life, and it balances delicately with tradition to shape our every breath. Claim your peace. To fully experience the grandeur of existence, just as the seasons turn one into the next, so must we ebb and flow in our phases of life. Nature is a major inspiration and source of peace for me. To think all of human existence is and will be but a speck of dust in the cosmic fabric of time. I pay attention to the rising and falling of my breath and ground myself with it. I think in my own silence. I hear other things much more clearly. Peace was in
is our refuge. Once you truly let yourself breathe into music and soak in the poetry of sound, you will find peace and refuge. Music exercises a different kind of understanding, like natural intuition and exploration that is important. Music has allowed me to be open, free, and not tethered to the struggles in every day. Vision of the future. 
The future is not certain, but we can always work towards a version of the future we desire. There is no vision of the future in my mind. I can't think so far ahead when so much is uncertain. But seeing the advocacy for change gives me hope that peace can be reached. I hope that in the future we can all be nicer human beings to one another. That which we must protect at all costs is our uniquely human ability to marvel at creation and to pass our wondering gazes on to those who follow. It takes a tremendous amount of trust to work with others toward building a better future for those who come after us. We can ensure the energy we send out into the world contributes positivity, whether it's to the earth, our friends, our family, or anyone we encounter. We can only reap the seed we sow. You have to live a life in alignment with your understanding of beauty, goodness, and truth. Environment. Diversity. Equity. Allocation of resources. Safety. Beauty. Inspiration. Inclusivity. Engagement. Openness. Community. Opportunity. Commitment. Integrity. Compassion. Imagination. We shall be known by the company we keep, by the ones who circle around to tend these fires. We shall be known by the ones who sow and reap the seeds of change alive from deep within the earth. Groundbreaking for us at UCSB at least event. Music 
performance is a collaborative experience, bringing people of different instruments, musical tastes, and experiences together to make music while retaining, in the case of jazz at least, each individual's distinct personality. I have made this spirit of collaboration a cornerstone of my teaching and performing career, and it's very special for me to be included in Dr. Lamartine's very first live concert in her very first year at UCSB, whereas I'm in my 26th year as director of jazz ensembles here at UCSB. I also want to acknowledge a different and quite longtime collaborator, James Mui from Santa Barbara City College, with whom I've worked in nearly every different musical situation imaginable, from percussion alongside my UCSB students with the Santa Barbara City College Symphony, to jazz gigs together, to musical theater performances, and even some other less savory musical experiences. Jim also has much to show me, not only teaching-wise, but using technology in our music making and teaching, and I am indebted to him for this collaboration. I honestly cannot think of two people, Jim and Nicole, with whom I would rather collaborate, and I hope for other, although not over the internet, opportunities very soon. I also want to introduce and thank the five jazz ensemble students joining us tonight. Ethan Chu, pianist Ethan Chu, trombonist Sri Ram Marthy, and saxophonist Max Roberts, who are all in their third year at UCSB, as well as first year bassist Emily Conway and graduating student Kenny Rhodes, from whom you will hear an improvised trumpet solo on this next piece. Finally, we hope you can join the UCSB Jazz Ensemble for our live performed concert tomorrow night at 5 p.m. The concert is entitled Almost a Century of Jazz and features music written for a 10-piece jazz ensemble by arranger Randy Alcroft. Our very own vocal jazz soloist Katie Dye as well as a second performance of this next piece. The link to that concert can be found in the chat on YouTube as well as on the UCSB Music Department website. Thank you, Nicole, and I hope you enjoy this performance of Autumn Leaves, arranged by Paris Rutherford. One, two, three, four.
change you want to see in the world be the change you want to see in the world be the change you want to see in the world and change will come to you Professor of Music at Santa Barbara City College, who mastered and engineered this virtual concert in real time. To the UCSB Jazz Ensemble members, Dr. John Nathan, director of the UCSB Jazz Ensemble, and you, our audience, for supporting our vision in music making. The UCSB Choir's vision statement is to empower innovative excellence through exploration, intention, and connection. We invite you to ask questions via the chat function in the YouTube live stream. We'd love to get to know you. Thanks, everybody, for coming tonight. Um, again, I'm Nicole Lamartine, and it's been a pleasure for us to sing with you tonight. Um, Sharif and I will be monitoring the chat, and we're about 30 seconds ahead of what we see in the chat. So um, we'll just uh, take any questions that might come along or any comments. We can talk about the jam boxes or our rehearsal process. Maybe you can hear from some of the students as well. Thank you, Nathan Carlson. We appreciate that so much. Thank you for all of these applause. We love it. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, unmute. Talk to your audience. <laughs> Thank you for all of the congratulations. Hi, Howard out there. Hi, Ben Levy. Hi, Phil Conrad. Hi, Isabel. Good to see you all here. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. This has been so much fun. Hi, Joao. Are there any questions? Are you curious about how we made this music in real time? Oh, look, it's Steve Shaw. <laughs> Steve! Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, you should be here, Steve. <laughs> 94 audience members, wow. Are we hearing anything that the audience members aren't? Any background communication going back and forth or are you just hearing what we hear? We are just hearing what you hear. So all of our um, breathing sounds, all of our little dogs that come into the room and go tap, 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 tap. You hear that, we hear that. It's all in real time and maybe bird chirps in the background. <laughs> John. Yeah, uh, the one thing we don't hear that you hear is reverb. Mm. <laughs> um, Jim Mui, our incredible friend, um, has taken our stream and added some reverb to it so it sounds like we're much closer than we actually are. It actually smooths over some of the rough edges, thankfully. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Singing and performing in a very dry space is very difficult. 
<laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you, Cherie, for, for letting Steve know that we do miss him as well. Um, and we have some big congratulations to give to Andrew Roberg, who passed his PhD defense today. Can we call you Dr. Roberg? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, Andrew. Nice, Andrew. Doctor. Congrats. You can call me whatever you want as long as it's not late for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we are so happy for you, Andrew. Congratulations. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, and to sing a concert on the same day, you're Superman. <laughs> my voice has had a workout. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Sarah, you were holding up your jam box. Do you want to tell our audience a little bit about this little jam box here? Yeah, let me try and speak coherently about that. Uh, I was holding it up because there was someone in the chat who asked to see them. They're Raspberry Pis. They have been programmed. Uh, Dr. Lamartine put together each one for us. Um, and I have three inputs here. I have power, I have ethernet, a super long ethernet cable, and my headphones. And as far as I understand, these go to a URL relay and go to a server. Imagine like a Twitch stream, but there's no video. It's just audio. And then we can hear each other as best as we can uh, without being in the same room. Very well done. Yeah, good. And so to build on what Sarah just said, we, we experienced Jamulus, the audio platform, way back in the fall to varying degrees of um, likability and user uh, uh, kindness. <laughs> and so these jam boxes bypass our computers. And it allows every computer user, even our PC friends, to connect to the Jamulus server and bypass the computer altogether. So we, it really makes the sound happen in real time together. And um, it's pretty amazing technology. And um, as I said in a previous interview, I think this, this technology is here to stay. You know, whether or not we experience a pandemic in the future and we have to be all in our own homes again making music, or whether we just want to get together with friends who graduate and move on and make some music together, this technology is available to us. And I just want to give another shout out to Jim Mui from Santa Barbara City College who helped us get these pies together. Um, and, uh, and, and to John Nathan, who helped me through the process of putting them all together and ordering what we needed to order, programming all of the computers. And um, twisting your arm gently to do so. <laughs> yes, and I'm so glad you did. And I think the choir is glad you did too, yeah, right, I'm choir? Glad. I'm glad you did. That was awesome. awesome. Um, could somebody share an experience of um, what it was like to hear for the first time? It was definitely daunting in a way because you get so used to only hearing yourself and having that little green light uh, staring back at you and you don't really have much of a community in that sense and to hear the full sound all together at one time thinking that you were not going to hear it for a really long time is just such a blessing. Yeah, I would also describe it as very powerful and empowering. I remember the first time that we sang together, it wasn't the best run through and we definitely were not together and had to work on that. But um, it was just such a beautiful experience to be able to be back singing with other people. And I'm sure that that is felt by everyone in the choir. So definitely great. Well said. Go ahead, John. Yeah, I just want to um, give a shout out to James Watson, who was also very um, instrumental in helping us get this together and even, you know, just handing over a couple of boxes when we needed them. So James, you're awesome too. James also works at Santa Barbara City College and has been really incredible about doing all the coding and uh, just keeping on top of things. So thanks James, thanks, thanks Jim. Absolutely, round of applause. And if you happen to come late to this um, little talk back or to the concert, everything is live. And um, we're all in our individual places and um, it's kind of a, a miracle that this is happening. And Jim Mui from Santa Barbara City College has been doing this since the fall. He's a trailblazer. And how awesome that he is um, collaborating with us here at UCSB to make this happen, to make real music happen for our students. That's so important. So thank you, Jim and James from Santa Barbara City College. I see lots of wonderful people in the chat. Carolyn, good to see you. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Yeah. 
Is the microphone in the unit you held up? Okay, so Howard is asking a question. This is my friend Howard Maherg from uh, Cor Anno up in Vancouver, Washington. He and I conduct that choir together. So this is just the computer. And the microphone is in um, this gaming headset. So it's this little part here. I don't know if you can see. But it's this, uh, it's a little lever microphone that comes around here and then my headphones. So it's one unit, we can hear and talk at the same time, or sing. <laughs> Who knew that the gaming industry would uh, yield such <laughs> great results for music making? Right. Hey, Will, tell us about our cool Cobra headsets. Oh, yeah, they're, uh, I remember getting them the, when I went to go pick up the, uh, the jam box in person, and uh, yeah, it was, it was something. They, they work really well. Like, they look a little silly, in my opinion, but they for what... <laughs> For what you get, it's amazing. We're very thankful to have them. Good. Absolutely. Yeah. And, Will, um, so because this is my first year here at UCSB, uh, there are some of these students who I've never met before in person. And when I put together the jam boxes and set up a, a pickup time at the beach, <laughs> <laughs> then I got to meet some of these students for the first time. So raise your hand, students, if I've never met you in person. Yeah, so there's a lot, there's a lot. Um, <laughs> raise your hand if I met you for the first time when you picked up your jam box or any related equipment. Great, yeah. So this is um, pretty special because the equipment allowed us to come together and actually um, see each other behind masks for the first time. Pretty amazing. So hopefully in the fall we'll get together and I will get to meet some of these wonderful people in person. Yeah, so Maxime was asking about bringing the video and audio together. Um, this, this is where we needed Jim, and um, Zoom doesn't quite give you the capability to have enough boxes. Nicole has 30, we have 30 boxes on the screen. Uh, Zoom doesn't do that, 20, I think 25 at the most. I have 25 on my screen on my computer. So what Jim Mui does is he arranges a, a um, open source piece of software called OBS, Open Broadcasting Software, I don't know, what, I guess that's what it means, I'm guessing, um, that allows him to do a lot more uh, than you can generally do with video and Zoom. But it takes a lot of work, so thank you, Jim. Hours and hours. Hours and hours, hours. yes. Um, it's, a, it's a lot to handle at one time, and I understand that Jim has his daughter, Anna Mui, who is a theater major, going to UC Irvine. So Anna was running the video today while Jim was running our sound at the same time. Big round of applause for Anna. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, Anna. Um, I saw a question in the chat about any research or publishing about this. Um, I've been keeping some notes about our experience and you know I'm hoping to maybe gather my buddies here John and Jim to maybe um, present at a conference at some point this year just about our experiences and how collaborative an effort this is really together not only between people and expertises but between institutions and if this is the way of the future there's no better way than positive collaboration. John. Yeah, I just also want to acknowledge Anthony Garcia in our department for having the foresight back in the fall to install a Jamulus server on in our department that allowed this to all happen. We're we're coming we're talking to you through um, a server on campus that's running the Jamulus software. So uh, thank you, Anthony, if you're out there listening. I know you were earlier. Just wanted to make sure that you got the just desserts. <laughs> As we are running out of our, our typical class time, I want to ask Sharif if there were any questions that we might have missed in the chat. Uh, I just saw one about uh, echo in our recording area where we cautioned about that. I didn't really experience much of an issue with that. Um, I don't know if, if anyone did. Maybe someone can speak on that. Echo in our recording? Was there somebody who would like to go? If you mean, is there like a delay from, from the feed? Where all of all the feed is going into our headphones, so none of our microphones should be picking up any any audio feed. I think they're talking about like if in our space we're in a really reverberant space, mm -hmm. if we were warned about being somewhere 
more acoustically sound, which we were, so yeah. yeah. I think the drier the environment we're all in, that allows Jim to then add reverb to everyone um, comprehensively, and um, it's easier for him to mix that sound if we're in a dry environment. There are some homes and some spaces that are, you know, tile floors and, and more echoey than others, and that's just what we what we deal with. Um, yeah. Any other questions, Sharif, that are popping up? Um, so far. Just uh, some compliments. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Ho Howard was asking about recording. We're not actually recording. We're actually playing and in interacting live. Mm -hmm. So in case there was any confusion about that, not sure if there was or not. But this will be recorded for later viewing if you want to see the whole thing again. Um, so yeah. I want to give a shout out to Gianni Becker, who is also a technology, technology wizard. Yeah, big round of applause. So Gianni is um, working with the software. Are you using Black Hole or? Yes. Okay, he's using Black Hole. You tell us about it, Gianni. Oh, well, the piano that you heard during some of the transitions was just my, my MIDI keyboard that's connected to my MacBook, which I have connected to um, a software called Black Hole, which basically routes audio between software so so you were able to hear the piano and everything and I, I we were able to use it for rehearsal purposes too which was helpful very helpful very helpful all right well I would like to open up the floor to chamber choir and jazz ensemble on the count of three would you just give a big hello or a word of thanks to people who might have seen this tonight and been with us for our concert. One, two, three. Hi, Mom and Danny. Hi, Hi, Howard. Hi. Thanks for being here. Hi, Carolyn. I'm so coming. happy to see you all. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so with that, I think we will call it a night. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Jazz Ensemble, Dr. Nathan, yes. what a pleasure to collaborate. And um, I think Jim Mui will roll some credits. And I think... I, do we leave the Zoom now? How does this work? Uh, I think he'll roll the credits and we'll be able to see when it happens. Okay, great. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and don't forget I, to come to the Jazz Ensemble concert tomorrow. Oh, yes, Jazz Ensemble. Yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow oh. night, 5 p.m., oh. Jazz Ensemble. More, Dr. Nathan. More fantastic students to play and also five of these wonderful singers will be joining us for Autumn Leaves. And we have our own singer. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Got a lot of great music to play for you. About an hour's worth of music, actually, believe it or not. And uh, we've, we've been doing this a little longer than Nicole's group here, uh, so we're a little, a little more um, comfortable with it, but it's still, you know, always a little bit nerve-wracking to see what will happen or what won't happen. So. Yes. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.